Well, Stuart, I think we all know the answer to that. If the name Trump was attached to this in any way, shape or form, it would have been breaking news across every major media outlet in the United States of America. We would still be talking about it. It would run over the course of the next week nonstop. They would be harassing us nonstop. But what has happened, sadly, is that the opposite has happened. I mean, this is a very, very serious situation. And gosh, don't we wish in the Trump family that the same courtesy had been extended to us when they say these are questionably sourced, uh, you know, it's a questionably sourced story. Are you kidding me? First of all, the New York Post, I think, is the fourth most circulated newspaper in the entire country. One of the oldest newspapers in the entire country. They have verified all of their sources for this, but the thousands, if not tens of thousands of false stories about me, about my husband, about my brother-in-law, about certainly the president of the United States, the First Lady, our entire family, we wish this same courtesy that Twitter and Facebook extended to the Biden family had been extended to us. But I think we see very clearly the game that is being played here. I mean, this is interfering in an election, plain and simple, in my opinion.